You're welcome. If you're going to learn the ear, I'd like to break it into three regions. We have the outer ear, so that starts at the tympanum, out this direction. We have the middle ear, which is mostly the bones and the um, pressurized space. And then we have the inner ear, which is the cochlea. So the outer ear, oreja, you think of or oracle, you think of ear, this is called a, a pinna or oracle. We have the helix, and we have the lobule, which is kind of the, um, the lobe, which everyone's a little different there. Here's the um, external auditory canal. It's external because it's opening to the outside. And there's what are called ceruminous glands. Cerumen is the uh, wax that's beneficial. It has lots of antibacterial properties. So we need it. We just don't need it jammed up against the tympanum. So the uh, ceruminous glands, you can't really see on this model, but um, believe me, they're there in real life. And then here's the tympanum. So this is kind of the end of the external ear. Uh, sometimes it's called the um, eardrum. And this is the one that sometimes ruptures, you know, when a kid has... Um, High fever. Fever or yeah, ear, ear infections. Because when a child's young, this auditory tube right here, this is the one that equalizes pressure. And on a, on a child that's young, it's kind of horizontal. And so the fluids back up into this middle ear and you get a lot of ear infections. And as they age, this tube's going to drop down as their jaw... Yeah, the jaw develops, mm -hmm. and so if a parent's patient enough, usually the earaches go away. And that's the auditory? This is the auditory tube, mm -hmm. external auditory canal, so don't get those two confused. This one's connected to the middle ear, this one just ends at the tympanum. In the middle ear, this is a pressurized space, like when you yawn, that's often the auditory tube kind of relieving pressure. We have three bones, malleus, incus, and stapes, which is the end of the um, ossicles, they're called. Stapes, okay. Stapes, it looks like a stirrup. That's how it gets its name, stirrup, or stapes. So one way to remember this is my, excuse me, my inner sound. Malleus, incus, stapes, my inner sound. Or sometimes it's called a mallet, because it looks like a mallet. Incus is the anvil, because the mallet's hitting the anvil. And the stapes looks like a stirrup. My inner sound. My inner sound. Uh, now we start the, the inner ear. The stapes is pressed up against the oval window. And these are semicircular canals, and they're in different directions so that we, um, it, it prevents for vertigo or confusion of your balance. Um, and so when we spin around really fast, you know, it gives these mm -hmm. hair cells the wrong impression. We get dizzy. Here's the cochlea, and this is where sound, vibrational sound, finally gets converted from vibrations to the cochlear nerve, the vestibular nerve here. And so we're going to transfer the vibrations. There's hair cells in there and a tectoral membrane, and so that's going to um, stimulate the auditory nerve, and it goes to the brain, and we actually hear. So we go from all this vibrational sound arriving at the tympanum, and then the, the bones articulate, transfer it to the um, cochlea, and we finally hear. Pretty amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm.